Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be looking at the Han Solo from the Battle on Indoor Battle Pack. Uh, that was a Toys R Us exclusive, and I would show you the packaging, but uh, unfortunately it's uh, super huge, uh, so it's kind of a pain to get it set up, uh, especially when I have the camera kind of up close here for the uh, smaller figures. So I will show you the packaging in the review I do for the ATST. Uh, but on to this figure here. Uh, this is the, if it'll focus here, the kind of super articulated version of Han Solo. I believe this is the version that uh, everyone thinks is the best. And it's not it's out, without its problems, but it is pretty good. So I'll go ahead and uh, run through his features here. He stands, let's see here, uh, three and three quarters inches tall. So he's right in scale with the other figures. And uh, overall, I would say that the likeness on this figure is pretty well done. It doesn't look like Harrison Ford from all angles, but from a few it does look like him. And, you know, for having his head, you know, smaller than my thumb, that's uh, pretty good. As far as accessories go, he comes with one. It is his blaster pistol. And I will say that this is not a very good version of this uh, gun. I have a version of Han Solo that came out in 2002 that has a better version of this gun. It's got more paint and more detail, so that's kind of disappointing, uh, knowing that they have a mold that looks better than this, but they just didn't use it. So uh, that's kind of unfortunate, uh, but it does work and it does fit in his hands, so I can't complain too much. As far as the articulation on this figure goes, he's got a ball peg in the head, and it doesn't get the best range of motion uh, looking down, because of his uh, Adam's apple there. If you'll notice, the bottom of his chin bumps into it, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but everything else works uh, pretty good. It does swivel and everything, so that's good. He's got ball, hinge, uh, ball hinged shoulders that do swivel 360, and they work uh, very well. He's got ball hinged elbows that work uh, really well. Swivel wrists. He's got a diaphragm joint down here that's got a, a ball peg in it, and it works uh, pretty well. The uh, kind of like uh, vest that he's wearing does kind of get in the way, uh, but it is uh, pretty soft, so it's not going to get in the way too much. He's got a floating belt piece here. Uh, it's actually kind of big, so you could probably pull it off the figure if you wanted to, uh, but it does have a peg back here, so it won't uh, f just fall off when you're uh, posing him, so that's nice. He's got hinged uh, hips, and they don't look that good. If you can see there, you can kind of like look through the joint. And one problem with this figure is that his legs are kind of uh, skinny. Uh, but it's not like a huge deal. I think part of what makes him look skinny is the, the vest up here. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing we can really do about that. So it's fine. He's got ball hinged knees that do swivel. And then he's got a ball hinged ankle. Uh, that does swivel as well. So uh, overall, I do agree with what everyone says that this is the best Han Solo figure. Uh, I can't think of any Han Solo, other Han Solo figures that are better than this one uh, as far as detail and everything goes. Uh, so I would definitely say that if you're just looking for a Han Solo figure, this is probably the best one to get. If you're looking at the figures as far as the Battle on Endor pack goes, uh, he's definitely a good one. Uh, the pack overall is uh, really good. It's got a lot of uh, kind of good figures to have, you know, Stormtroopers, uh, Chewbacca, Han Solo, Princess Leia. So uh, that's good. It's good for like an entry level figure or a figure collector. And right now at Toys R Us, you can get uh, these figures, including the ATSD, for under ten dollars a piece, which is uh, really good. So. I would suggest if you want this pack, uh, now is the time to do it. Um, if you have any comments or questions about this figure or the pack itself, just leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I'll see you later.